Hostrooch is a dog con dog comp dog competition and you there's like a bunch of different contests that you could win with your dog. But Ladybug, my dog, she doesn't like posh pooch, so I'm doing it, uh, doing it with my mom's friend's dog named Claudine. Claudine, she's a whippet, and she's three years old, and she's very and her and oh my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> energetic, kind of. Yeah, she's more energetic okay. than my dog, and sometimes she gets very skittish around dogs. So we're gonna see how this okay, goes. Okay, so we're going for a beach theme, and what does that look like? So for our little bag, so they know it's a beach theme. That bag. Okay. The beach bag. This is shallow. Shallow. Okay, and then. So in my beach bag, I'm gonna have some Ritz crackers. We didn't buy these; they're just for show. And then I got some shorts. That's for you. And a t-shirt. That says and then what? Hello. What shirt is for Claudine? It says, "Hi." This is like not her like normal costume to go for the beach theme uh -huh. this is just like after or before the competition mm -hmm. like when we're walking around but this is her real thing nice. mermaid tail we're not going to put her in this bathing suit and this top really well maybe this top this top because it's going to kind of be restraining for a dog but um after we're going to give the bathing suit to a foster baby we know yes We'll wash it first though, right? Yeah, definitely. But today we're going to Posh Pooch with my mom's friend, Dog. She's a Whippet and her name is Claudine. And the whole, well, our theme, we're gonna try to do like the look-like contest and the character contest. She's gonna be a mermaid and I'm just gonna be a beach goer. See, my hat and I have a shirt that says hello and I have shorts and then I have a beach bag. Hey, I have a brand new phone. You guys let me know if you think that this sounds better and looks better. Yes, I'm dressed like I'm going to like the Kentucky Derby or something. Whew. Anyhow, Matea and I are going to, what are we doing? Hold on a second. Look at, look at how cute she is. I can't see myself. Okay, hang on. dogs have you seen so far? Every single dog. Every single dog. I'm trying like, to put what's this in the bag. What's kind of dog? I don't know. I have, I just like all of them. I like beagles and schnauzers. You like beagles and schnauzers. Okay, and we're looking for our friend who has a whippet. Hey baby. That's the one who walked up to me. He so at least I'm sticking with my theme, which is adoption. <laughs> Pet adoption. Do you realize that if you do hashtag adoption on like Instagram or anything, mostly dogs come up or cats. I love animals too. But I'm just saying that it's interesting because more people should be adopting so that they can put hashtag adoption for our actual people, which would be cool. But there's a need everywhere.
posh pooch, right? What? And you are, what kind of animals do you have? I have two pugs with a little bit of Jack Russell in them. Angus, this is Angus and Virgil. Look at Anna. Look at Anna. Okay. okay, and then Kimbo, you have... I have Claudine. Claudine looks like a, an angel. And you have several other dogs. Like, so she, what kind of dog is she? She's a whippet. And then what other dogs do you have at home? Two Italian greyhounds. Okay, so let's first talk about the greyhound, your dogs, and then we'll talk about pugs. Okay, so tell me why these dogs are so special. So they're very spiritual, they're very soulful, they're very human acting. Uh, Claudine comes and tells me at 8.30 every night, she nudges me and says, take me to bed, mommy. So they have patterns, they're very smart. So I walk her back to her bedroom and I tuck her in, right? So they're just very soulful, gentle dogs. So when you say they're spiritual, like, can you give examples of what you mean by that? Like. Like, are they intuitive? Do they know what people are hurting? I mean, what, how do Yes. You... If, if you're crying, they will come directly to you, hop in your lap and kiss you. They know if somebody in the house is sick, and they'll try to entertain you and love you, to take your mind off of it. So they're really into emotions. I think a lot of dogs are, but I especially notice this about the greyhounds. And, okay, so greyhounds, the Whippet and Italian greyhounds, what do you know about the regular greyhounds too? Like, is there a need for adoption with those dogs? Always. There's, there's needs for adoption of all dogs. From yeah. all of them. Yeah. Now, this one's never raced. Hold still, be good. But Whippet's race, how fast can she go? She can go 42 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. That's amazing. My guys can go four miles an hour. <laughs> now switch over to her guys. Okay, so tell me about pugs and shit. Like, why pugs are hysterically funny. They make me laugh all day long. Well, just look at their faces. They look like they need a cigar, right? That's Virgil and that's Angus. See? Say hello. <laughs> so I noticed. <laughs> I noticed that there's a pug rescue. What's that all about? Do they need adoption and then why? Yes, I don't know. Things would happen. A lot of times, I'm telling your daughter, Matea, all about, with, with pugs, when they get older, they get issues, like their, their noses and their hips, and sometimes it gets expensive, and then people just give them up because they don't want to pay for their care. So, so there's a lot of older pugs. Yeah, yeah they need, need, need a home. Are there a lot of pugs over there? Uh, yes. And then what about, like, um, tell me about their personalities in general. Well, Virgil's very neat. He's mama's boy, always has to be touching me. And then Virgil has a lot of dignity. He has a lot of class. This is Virgil. I mean, Angus. This is Virgil. Angus is very classy. See? He has the red tie. Angus has the red tie. And Virgil has to take all the attention. Virgil has a bow tie too. And he's a thief. He's a thief. Yes, he steals all of Angus's toys, and Angus is very kind and gentle about it. And just. He doesn't want any trouble. Oh, they're so sweet. Pug Rescue. There's a place called Pug Rescue of Florida. We're going to look at that later. So, that's cool.
So Claudine and Matea did not win, but we had so much fun and now we're at the mall. I got a new iPhone, so hopefully you guys will be hearing my videos better and it'll look better. I got the iPhone 10 and we are shopping for a case for Matea who will now have my iPhone 6 Plus. And by the way, she's going to be managing the social media, so great, so and helping me.